following him will be our esteemed jurisdictional state supervisor, Mother Althea Chapman. Let's give our mission some ceremony hands. She does a wonderful job all the time. My cry and pity every one of my groans. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. How about you? Amen. And I'm glad to be saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled. Amen. To our bishop, and let's give our praise for Bishop James R. Wright Sr. That's his name. To our Andre Reed, let's thank God for Mother Barker. Aren't we happy to be in the presence of her on this day? Amen. I'm just glad to be here with her. And uh, it was not mentioned, but she also is our adjunct mother for the jurisdiction. What a blessing that is, amen. amen. And I've had wonderful years of working along with her. We're happy to have such a great and humble man at the same time at the helm of our jurisdiction. Uh, Bishop Wright is a great man among men. Am I right about that, Joe? Yes. And we're happy that he's here. He wanted to be here. He desired to be here. And I'm not going to hold time of any longer. I'm going to ask all of you, if you can and will, stand to your feet and receive our leader, the Bishop of Ecclesiastes of West Jurisdiction Number 1, Bishop James R. Wright Sr. Give God praise to him as he comes. He's a great son. Oh, we can do better than that. He's our leader. Bishop James R. Wright Sr. Bless you, sir. I pressure you may be seated. We certainly do honor the Lord tonight for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us and allowed us to come tonight to celebrate the retirement of this great woman of the Lord. It's just wonderful to hear all of the great things that are being said about her. And we certainly thank God for Bishop Melvin and all of the executives that we have here. I was impressed to see so many executive board members here on tonight, superintendents and pastors from across the jurisdiction. Give them a hand, eh? Supervising all of the wonderful people of the Lord. We certainly happy that this is uh, Mother Barkin's day. And uh, we have about three more hours of a day left. So if you want to design your program, you can line up and she will sign as uh, Mother Barkin's Day here. We thank God for her and for the great service that she has rendered to uh, the church. And we are certainly happy for, uh, this is the second or third time I've been over to Syracuse for one of these retirements. Uh, Mother Gomez retired and El Barkins retired as senior pastor. Now Mother Barkins, Mother uh, Barkins, Juanita Barkins is retiring as district missionary. I hope they're not trying to send me a message. <laughs> I'm not about to retire. No way, no way, no way. Get the word out. Amen. But we thank God for the service that these persons have rendered to the Church of God in Christ. Um, Syracuse has a very rich history. The Church of God in Christ has a rich history in Syracuse going back to late Mother Peyton, as the young lady said, and the services that has, amen, been rendered by these great people. And I heard her say that Mother Barkins came out of the Sunshine Band and the Purity class. And I was saying to myself, we need to keep those auxiliaries in place so that we can begin to groom another generation of young people who will become the district missionaries and the supervisors and what have you, bishops and superintendents. Uh, many of those auxiliaries have gone to extinct in our church and we need to revive them. 
Don't you agree? Amen. Amen. So that this church can continue to flourish and grow and be all that it can be uh, for the work of the Lord. And we praise God for the service she has rendered to our great district. She has uh, served as a district missionary, district number seven, and I believe Sister Lark said that district number seven is one has been one of the greatest and continues to be one of the greatest districts in the jurisdiction. in the jurisdiction and we will long remember the legacy amen that this jurisdiction has played in the life of the work of the jurisdiction sister Barkins you have served with distinction as district missionary you have served with distinction in our jurisdiction and because of the service that you render and others like yourself Western New York number one remains a very strong and vibrant jurisdiction. And I want us to celebrate you for not only your district work, but for your jurisdictional work. There isn't a convocation, a workers meeting that's held in Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, that Sister Barkins and Ella Barkins go every night to the meeting and drive back home. And uh, they tried to get them a room over there, but they refused to take a room. They wanted to come back home. They took it this time, somebody <laughs> Amen. But they loved the, the work of the jurisdiction. And you really feel like you're in a state meeting when you see them come in. Amen. They serve with distinction, and we love and appreciate the great work that you have done. And we pray that you will just live as long as you want and you will never want as long as you live. Amen. 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 So we celebrate you tonight and we hope that uh, you will continue to do as uh, Mother said, that she's not stepping down, she's stepping aside, uh, moving over for just a while to another level of work and minute. It's good to know though when it's time to quit. Am I saying anything? Amen. It's good to know when it's time to quit and be able to do it. Many of us think about it, but we're just not able to do it. We don't have the strength to do it, but she had it, and we thank of you for it. I want to thank God for Mother Wright uh, on tonight. Give her a great big compliment to being with us. all of the saints of the Lord. We love you, we love Syracuse, and we are always happy and excited when it's time to come uh, to this city because there's such a rich spirit of holiness in the Church of God in Christ in this area. God bless you, and may you continue to do the work of the Lord, Sister Barkin, as you go forward. God bless you.